I found some good reader prints from the web and I wanted to print them myself. So here are 12 of these prints. Assembly went quite easily, except installing TPU band and screws. This problem wasn't design fault. So the issue was caused by wrong print settings. I left support box unchecked and the lead printed with supports. The screw threads had supports inside. I tried to remove them, but I only got upper parts clean. I still wanted to install the band and I came up to this solution. I cut the screws shorter and glued them in place. That was my mistake. To avoid this look aware your print settings before you start printing. There seems to be stoppers on the lead and the holes on the bottom so you can stack boxes. There seems to be a cutout to help lift the handle. I don't know is it for that but if so it would be bigger. It would be easier to lift the handle. The locking mechanism was great. The, the inserts and band is nice add-ons. The box design looks like an uh, ammunition box. I almost forgot, printing the screws is quite tricky. You need to use very slow speed and good cooling to get them right. It is quite a lot of filament to print it, but it's quite big and sturdy box. Kit cards are fun little toys and gifts. You can find many of them from the web. This one can be printed multicolor at once or separated parts. I like the multicolor print, but it takes more filament and also print time is longer. Nice model, not too bad to say. Printing place models with moving parts are always fun things to print, but they can be hard to print also. There are small wheels which hold freely, also the bottom platform can be turned. This lift can be raised and lowered by turning the knob which is connected with threaded rod. At first it didn't want to rise and I didn't want to use too much force, so I used knife to clean the joints. After some help I got it working. I should maybe print it with less speed and also calib calibrated printer helps to get good results. This thing needs some assembly and you can find good instructions from the model page. But as usual, I didn't watch it before. So I did some things wrong at first, but after I watched the instructions, I managed to assemble it. It's actually not difficult at all. This is moves nicely and it's very easy to rotate the crank. It's a next great model. It's advertised as print in place, but you need to print 4 parts and assemble it after, so not exactly print in place. But it's not important, it's still good 3D print. I first attach the wings different than seen on the model page. I took them off and put them back all the way. It seems that wings suits both ways, this eagle looks very nice. Great details and the sun loot three colors. Silk PLA looks very good.
Another articulated 3D print. This time it's a possum. It needs some assembly, which was easy. I printed multicolor and scaled it down to 70%. It has nice details and it printed fine. It's an articulated print, so it needs good paint adhesion. There are many moving parts and I had no problems with them. I like that you can open the mouth and you can see the little teeth. If you don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Another nice print. This articulated gorilla is printed in two pieces. You need to install the head, I use quite much force to do it. The joints feel nice and strong, details look good and all the bars are moving. It prints without supports and there are also 3MF files for multicolor print. Gorilla can be put in different positions. I printed one more kit card print. This one had much more pieces and half of the pieces came off the frame when I removed it from the bed. The wooden pallet is nice add-on for the ace forklift. It came out very good without supports. Assembly is snap in place. The steering wheel and seat are good in place. This print has pre-made supports. The wheels didn't have supports and I had some issues. I needed to cut some filament pieces off, the, off from the inside. If it's fully assembled, it don't look like it came from kit card print. Cool little forklift. There seems to be no limiters on the bottom, so forks want to fall off. Overall, it's nice test decoration. This model is printed in two pieces, and you need to glue them together. Strings are very thin and can easily break. You need to be very careful when you remove it from the head plate or when you glue it. I, I broke some strings. Luckily not broken strings, still holds it up. It's printed with silk PLA, which tend to break easier than regular PLA. It's great design and it looks very interesting. It's definitely a cool decoration for plain fans. Fully 3D printed protector grabber. Assembly needed, but it's very easy. It even has printed spring. It works great and the overall design is good, but I don't like the hole for the thumb. I would like it more if it's facing like other two holders. I have been car fan for a long time and when I saw this Mustang I knew I need to print one myself. I printed it with glitter PLA which has quite big glitter pieces inside. Body is printed in two pieces. It's designed that you can print it with two colors without a multicolor printer also. Parts are glued in place with no problems. All parts fit it nicely. Cool car model. I had some warping and that's why there are gap between body pieces on the front and on the back also.
And the last one is articulated with keychain, write it without problems. There are two versions available, longer or shorter. This one is the longer one. The Bamboo Lab Golden Filament looks nice. If you found some things you want to print yourself, you can find all the links for STL files at the video description. Thanks for all the model creators who made these cool 3D models and also thanks for watching.